I know some people are interested in logging with uh, RSBA1, and the program has some capabilities built in. And I ran this by one of the ICOM reps, and uh, basically don't think they're interested in upgrading the RSBA1 software, but they could. Here's an example. This uh, memory, which controls things that you're tuned into. Let's say we wanted to record that we're operating a station here and we're in lower sideband and we have this memory channel editor. Uh, this system has 26 banks of 100 records each. So that's 2600 records they could potentially store data in. And I'm here and let me see I go up here and I hit memory write. It tells me, oh, I'm on a channel, do I want to overwrite it? And you say, no, I don't want to do that. You go to a blank channel here, and we, we hit the memory write. And it doesn't record anything here, but it records the operating frequency and the mode. It could, if they would relay out this memory channel editor and call it a, a logging editor. No reason why they couldn't have the call sign of the station, a report, comment, the uh, signal report received and transmitted, and some other information and turn this particular memory channel editor into a logger. Now with these banks you can rename them. I mean, let's say we have a contest we could rename this thing uh, whatever. And you work this station here so you enter the call and you work them anywhere you want to. Memory write. I'll put them in blank one. And you double click here and you say okay I work W1AW. And uh, they gave me a 5-9 and I gave them a 5-9 and now you've recorded that contact. Here is the scope. I have it in center mode so I can see where things are being modulated. You decide you wanted to work this station here so you can double click the memory and bring it back up again. Hit the memory right. Up here you can save this whole collection of memory channels. I'm gonna say save as and I've predefined a set of logs 10, 18, 19. And now I have a, a log file there. I can bring up one of my other ones. Here's a big log that I've been keeping for quite a while. I've got a lot of uh, different banks going here. Emergency frequencies and I have a bunch of 10 meter repeaters and 80 meter information and what have you. Special events station. So let's say I've worked these and I've got a signal report. I didn't record one here. I want to save this. So I go file Sorry, I can export this bank as, call this the Special Events Bank. And they do a CSV, which is comma delimited standard file. So I say Special Events. And it's going to go in that same spot, so I say good, I'm going to save that. I can also print it. I can print this current bank, trying the Microsoft XPS writer. Let me try that and uh, I'll go over here and say print and it's asking me where I want to print it so let me bring that in, here's the logs I'll call this thing a special events and I can also print it as a text file. Now let's go take a look at that subdirectory briefly and uh, let me take a look at the uh, SSB contest CSV. It's got those uh, stations in it, you gotta make it comma delimited because it's a CSV file Here's uh, some of the information, so I say OK, and I import it right into a spreadsheet. And if I don't need a lot of these, and you can play around with the spreadsheet and put in dates and whatever else you want to put in here. Spreadsheet, so i got to pick the right one here, XLS. There we go. So I save that. Now the other format we saved it in was Microsoft XPS, and here it is. Let's bring that up. And that opens it up with a built-in program. Again, if uh, ICOM would uh, take interest in this software, more than they have apparently, they could add the uh, logging information right here. And what I would like to see is a date and a received report, transmitted report, and a number if there's a number associated with the contact. So how do you go about doing this? Real briefly, I'll tell you. You, uh, let me just, uh, I don't care about saving this. If you want to start from scratch, I don't care about that. So you can create a brand new blank going new and you end up with the 26 banks of 100 entries per, 100 records per bank. That's pretty nice. Uh, you can name each bank 
is if you want to. And uh, then when you save these, save as, this is where you only have to do this once. This is where you decide where you want to save it. So you can create a directory ahead of time, like I did over here in uh, external drive. I call it ICOM logs. And if I want to save a bank, I would just go file, save as, MCH, memory channel. Each one of these things is a new set of 2600 memory channels. So you could create several different logs, one per contest, whatever you wanted to. This is not a perfect contesting program by far, but for some people it might suffice to uh, be a starter to say I want to record stuff. Now it would be nice if you could sort your, by clicking on this, it would be nice if you could uh, right click and uh, sort these. The other thing to take a look at is what do you want to view? I don't care about this call sign field, which is the call sign of a repeater. And I don't care about the digital information, but if I did, I'd have all this digital information stored over here, but we don't care about that whole column. So you go view and you remove the digital and it's gone. And then there are options. Uh, if you want to have a repeater call sign window, you can do it. I don't care about autocorrect, you can remove that. So, and you can change the, f small, the font size to standard. And the other thing, nice thing about this program is if there's an entry here, you can pick a uh, an entry or a couple of entries. I can go down here and I can pick this whole block and right click and say copy. And I can go to another, maybe even an empty channel. How about this one? Go down here and right click and say paste. And I can move things around in different channels. This is another feature of this uh, memory thing. But you can't sort it. Right click here, not much you can do. It would be nice if you could sort by name or by frequency or by whatever. So there you go. It's a poor man's uh, logger, but under memory, you might want to take a look at how you can uh, use it. Remember, you can uh, save as a uh, CSV file. You can print to either a text file. You can print all the banks or just the current bank, and you have a couple of options as to how you want to print it. The third option is to export it in some CSV format. So uh, there you go. By the way, if you export a set in CSV format and say File Import, I can grab these special events frequencies, import from file, it'll clear the current sheet, but there are 26 sheets here, remember. And there I now have a, uh, a sheet. Didn't affect the whole 26 spreadsheets, but this one sheet of 100. So if I have all my 10 meter repeaters listed, which I do, and I think somewhere in here I have 10 meter repeaters. Let's see if I do. Where I had 10 meter, re 10 meter re repeaters. Here's my 10 meter repeater list. I could save that, save as, or export, I'm sorry, export as 10 meter repeaters. Then I could say to you, would you like my list of 10 meter repeaters? And you say, yeah, sure, why not? So you get them and you find an empty channel that you have and you're going to say file import and you can get my 10 meter repeater list and import from file and you can have my list of 10 meter repeaters or nets or whatever else so there you go it could be a good way to have icom improve uh, rsba1 say why don't you add this feature to uh, rsba1 and uh, and add make it one more level of uh, usefulness Otherwise, it's a great program. There you go. Jeff, W6FCC. It's uh, October 18th. Have fun. I forgot to mention, if you do have a collection of these frequencies, you can go back to one very very easily just by clicking on that number 13. This is going to take it to 7.1385. And actually, before I do that, let me just save where I am. Right click and say, uh, insert a, a blank line. And then I'm going to just save this and this is uh, starting point. Okay, bank one, memory channel one. If I want to go over here and listen to uh, a test, let's say G0SZI 3.752, I'm not there now, but I can click on this. Immediately it goes there, and it also enters who I'm talking to right here in your RSBA1. There's a net on Saturday night. Click on that, 3.913, there it is. This works pretty well for remembering where you were.
go to any of the other ones. Let me just where I was before in the uh, 10 meter section. If I click on this one, it has the split all built in and I'm ready to go. And it puts me into FM and if the repeater is working, I don't see any evidence of it, but if it was, I would be uh, ready to operate that repeater. Okay, have fun.